What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and today I am excited to show you guys a review and on feet of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clay. So the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clay released today, Saturday, March 30th, 2019 for a retail price of $220 and released in limited quantities across the United States and the Americas. This is the region exclusive for the Americas that was part of the three Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s that released in different regions across the world. This is the clay colorway, as I said, for the United States. And I do have a video on the true form colorway, that, which I will link above, um, which was the pair from Europe. So today I basically wanted to give you guys a review and an on feet of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 clay. And now real quick before we do that, I do want to say to you guys to make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. I make reviews of all the new shoes that I pick up. I do a review and an on feet for every shoe on my channel. So you guys will not want to miss out on that content. If you guys like this video, definitely leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. As I said, I make new videos all the time. So you guys will not want to miss out. But for now, let's get right into the review of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clay. So getting right into it here with the box, this is your typical Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 box. And you guys can see the size tag here. The colorway is indeed clay, clay, and clay. Now taking a closer look at the shoes, the camera isn't doing the best job of showing exactly how bright these guys are, but in hand they are really, really bright. So it's like this orange, orangish red colorway of this, you know, what Adidas calls clay. But in hand, I think it looks pretty cool. So it does have the pattern that we've seen on recent Yeezy Boost 350 V2s, like on the True Form. So it is a little bit of a different kind of, you know, pattern across the upper. But it is your typical Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. And aside from that, it also kind of has this translucent stripe across the middle. You guys can see the orange um kind of heel tab sticking out of the back there and the brightest part of the shoe is indeed the he the heel tab itself so it's more of a lighter shade compared to the rest of the shoe however the whole thing like i like i have been saying is fairly bright in hand but i think it looks good you guys can see the translucent outsole as well and moving to the front of the shoes you guys can see the pattern continuing up until the rope laces which are the same color as the upper of the shoe and it really just shows that this is your typical Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. The outside of the right shoe is just the same. You guys can see all very similar to the other side. But the pattern looks very nice. It is that clay color with kind of different shades of the pattern peeking through in all different parts. And then taking a look at the back here, you guys can see the pull tabs and the outsoles again with the part that is a bit segmented. The coloration or the colors on the on the outsole are a little bit different between the two segments that we that is also pretty typical of adidas easy boost 350 v2s but nonetheless they look pretty good then if we take a look inside the shoes you guys can see the three stripes uh that are you know reflective on the heel and then it says adidas and yeezy on the insides on the insoles and then here is a shot of the size tag for you guys to get all those numbers and then the inner sides of the shoe are just the same. You guys can see the pattern continuing. This side really shows the difference in, you know, pattern style. You could see the lighter part in the middle, then the, the heavier textured part, you know, kind of towards the bottom. But it looks really nice in hand. And then this is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 tag that comes on all the shoes. And finally, moving to the outsoles, the color stays the same. You see this translucent outsole, you could see the boost, and you got your you know, very nice white boost peeking through in all the different holes through the traction. And now that we took a look at the shoes, I'm gonna get them laced up and show you guys what they look like on feet.
And now there we have it. That wraps up the review and on feet of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clay. So now my opinions on this shoe, I like this a lot. So coming into this review and picking this, sh this shoe up today, I was not so sure I would like it. I was afraid this orange was going to be too much or too bright or just not look right. I feel like I, I saw a lot of people saying online that they might look a little weird in hand or, or whatnot, but I don't know. I'm impressed. I like this a lot. I think this is a great shoe coming into the summer. Um, it's definitely bright, but I think it looks really good. Like in hand, you just kind of have to see what it looks like to um, really get a taste for you know what the color looks like in different lighting, but I think it looks great. Um, I'm a big fan of it, so you know, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the shoe or if you guys picked it up or not. But beyond that, I think um, there isn't a whole lot else to say. Actually, I could tell you guys for sizing um, on Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s, same with this shoe. I do go up a half size. You can go true to size, however, the, the fit is very snug, so I would go up half a size if you guys were looking for a little bit more room. But aside from that, as I said before, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this shoe. Like I said, I'm a big fan. I think it looks good. So let me know down below, but not too much else to say. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.